So this is just a quick introduction to the complex shapes. If you've already done the basic shapes, then this should be no problem at all. Uh, I'm just going to zoom into the bunny rabbit. Oh, well, as I said, I'm going to, there we go, zoom into the bunny rabbit. Um, I'm just using, by the way, I was just using the scroll wheel. Sometimes I hold down control and the scroll wheel to zoom in. Um, you can also hold down shift and the scroll wheel to, um, to zoom or to pan side to side. Just little tricks. Um, so I'm just going to quickly use the Bezier curve tool and start going on the bunny rabbit. I'm just going to start here on the back and then click and click. And I'm just doing the really fast version to just get some points going. Um, and once I get those points, then I can um, start building a little bit more and figuring out if I need more points or not. So I'm just going to hit enter there. You'll see it's kind of disappeared because my stroke is currently black. So I'm going to set my stroke to red and I'll add some width to that. In this activity, we're going to add a width of three just to make it more interesting. And then there's all our data points. And I'm just going to highlight them all and make them all smooth right off the bat. So that's already helped significantly. So now I can just come back and start stretching things out. Remember from the last activity that if you hold down shift and pull on this, you can get the handles back. All right, so now you can kind of see where I'm going to be going with this. It's not really all that shocking. Um, and then go from there. Uh, the other thing that you might want to worry about um, as you're going through here, so you can zoom in and zoom out. Oops, there we go. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to worry about is if you want to add points. So for instance, right here, maybe I'm happy with this, but it doesn't quite match up. Okay, so what I can do here is I can just um, if I double click right on the line, there was no node there before. I'll just delete it. So there's a line with nothing on it. I double clicked on the line and it added a point. Now I could have done it with the plus arrow and all kinds of stuff like that, but this is way more convenient. Okay. And so that way I've just added a node. I didn't really want to add a lot of nodes, but you can see there. And if I just click on that node, press delete on my keyboard, it's gone. So I can just pull it back and then just kind of play around with it a little bit more. And so that's just an easy way to do complex shapes. Um, if you are having any further, any other further difficulty, um, please feel free to contact me. And if you're not one of my students, please feel free to email. Okay. Have fun inkscaping.